history, but we talk about communication history. Maybe you all had the moment, I come back from a German trip, three weeks of business, and I'm very much stressed in the office because after one and a half weeks, my inbox didn't, was not appearing anymore in my Black, Blackberry. So maybe you had the same problems today when the server is not functioning well and no inbox. But imagine what happened 100 years ago. There was no flight, no plane, or Air Asia, no Malaysian airline. There was no TV. There was no server, no SMS, no blog, no whatever. Um, 100 years ago, postcards were the medium to communicate between each other. And the, uh, to bring you that one closer, um, imagine your children, now we have some younger people here, but imagine your children should write a whole sentence on a postcard, they would be hardly any more possible to do so. Because on a postcard you have to think before what you're going to write. You can't just keep a bad, sorry, mistake, and you don't have automatic correction control, you say have, and then you say have. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing, in the postcards you have to think before what you write, make up your mind, what is your message, your idea, etc. The word first postcard was invented in 1869 by a European Hungarian, a very small nation, Hungaria, Budapest the town, and that was the first postcard. The first postcard in China was invented in 1876, so some years later, and that was marking only a very long period of correspondence cards. These were cards without images.